lot of people are talking about allowing kids to be able to get their gender transitioned, in other words, to be mutilated. Anyways, they said it to Governor DeSantis and he got really mad and spoke his mind. Check this one out. I think American voters want a How many of these people voice? were paid to come? I mean, like, honestly, it's like, so, seriously, some of this stuff is just totally manufactured. And I know, like, people in your industry will dress it up with a euphemism and they'll say it's, it's health care to cut off the private parts of a 14 or 15 year old. That is not health care. That is mutilation. Calgary pastor accused of hate motivated crimes against LGBT community has been arrested again. That got me wondering, what did he really say? Anyways, check this video out and let me know what you think. Calgary pastor accused of hate-motivated crimes against LGBTQ communities. He's arrested again, brave man. Thank God. There's, there's at least one pastor in the whole country of Canada. One pastor that has the courage to denounce drag queens defiling the minds of babies and infants and children. One pastor in the whole stinking country of Canada. And notice they'll charge this guy with hate motivated crimes, still waiting for a hate assessment for the Nashville shooter. You're not gonna hear that, are you? No, you're not gonna see the Communist Manifesto. And so what was the hate crime? He had a microphone and he was quoting biblical scriptures. The churches in Calgary should be there defending that man. But they won't because the, the shepherds are cowards. This is the complete erasure of women, no, of females. Check this video out. The author of this channel has something very important to say and I hope you have yours to share in the comment section after you see this one. Let's get to it. So let me just get this straight. In the last few years, a biological male has been named Woman of the Year on several magazine covers. A biological male is referenced as a top-ranking female in our White House. A biological male was named the NCAA Woman's Swimmer of the Year. A biological male is making tens of thousands of dollars being the face of womanhood for Nike, for Tampax, for Bud Light, for Kate Spade, and countless other companies. A biological male took home the award for Best Actress at the Golden Globes. Are we really still trying to make the case that feminism supports women when the feminists are completely silent and or cheering on? Biological men taking over the space of women? Somebody spell this out for- After seeing that video, I'm very curious to know what you think about what is going on. Is the world headed in the right direction? Should this continue? I mean, should more men continue? No, should more trans women continue to get women's award? I'm just curious. I want to know what you think. So in 2023, it's so difficult to define what a woman is. But I'll let you guys be the examiners of this one. I want you to rate the definition from 1 to 10 if this one is correct. So watch the video and share your scores in the comment section. Let's get to it. Define woman. Go. Please, one of you. A person who their internal idea of what they are is a woman. Terrible definition. Coming from a lesbian, that destroys the very concept of our sexual orientation. Just saying that it's an but idea. Why? 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 You can't be connected and sexually attracted to somebody's brain. Charlie Kirk said something in a video that caught my attention. He said, in California, you can go to jail for misgendering somebody. I don't know, is that really true? Can you go to jail? How do you regulate misgendering somebody? Maybe you guys might understand, but check the video out and share your thoughts in the comment section as I'm happy to read what you guys have to say and also you can educate me as I'm not in America, I might not know. That being said, let's get to it. In California, you can go to prison if you misgender somebody. Oh yeah, you're okay with that? Oh, okay. So you think, think it, you so you think if I misgender some, yeah. okay. So if I go up to somebody and I misgender them, I can face prison time, and you're okay with it. Oh, yes. Okay, that's the problem. The problem you're is, forcing speech. Is that, okay, so if you went up to me and you're like, you're a man. If you came up to me and you told me. Well, I don't want to assume your gender, so I don't have to tell me. 
Okay, well, I advise I see her first. Okay. Alright. <laughs> but... And if I say him, that I could face prison time in California, and you're okay with that. That's forcing speech. That is a form of fascism. Oh. That's the problem. So I want to know what you think. So please share with me in the comment section. That being said, smash the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you on the next video. Have a wonderful day. Peace.